chapter applications of trigonometry we will see an application question from this chapter there are two temples one on each bank of a river just opposite to each other one temple is 50 meters height from the top of this 50 meters temple the angles that is the angle of depression of the top and foot of the other temple are 30 degree and 60 degree respectively we should find out the width of the river as well as height of the other temple from this chapter you may get 3 to 4 mark question now always when you are solving application of trigonometry question always the first step is write down the most commonly used trigonometric ratio tan theta so tan theta equals opposite side divided by adjacent that is opposite to angle theta divided by adjacent to angle theta then in most of the cases we use three standard angles that is tan 30 degree then tan 45 degree then tan 60 degree so tan 30 is 1 by root 3 tan 45 degree is 1 tan 60 degree value is root 3 for all the question try to write this as first step at least you will get one mark next step is convert this statement in the form of figure now there are two temples one on each bank of a river i'll draw the temple one next and another temple which is opposite to temple one that is temple two this has temple Two and other as temple one which are opposite to each other on the bank of a river the distance between these two temples is the width of the river so that is width of the river the distance between two temples is the width of the river and the height of the temple one is 50 meters The given height of temple 1 is 50 meters. Now from the top of this temple, you are seeing what? The top and foot of the other temple, that is temple 2. Now I will mark this as a point. Now what I will do, the important step is draw a horizontal line. Now, from this point, if you see at the top of the other temple, the angle of depression is 30 degree. That is, the angle of depression is nothing but the, it is the angle formed with the line of sight. From the point to the top of the other temple. So, angle of depression is the angle formed between the horizontal line and the line of so that is 30 degree angle of depression is below the horizontal line the angle of depression of the foot of the temple is 60 degree this is line of sight Now, now I'll draw a line and I'll name the figure A, B, C, E, D. You can name any 
let us now x a c will be equal to a c e because they are alternate angles in the same way x a d will be equal to a d b because they are alternate angles now there are two temples a b and c d which is on the bank of a river just opposite to each other the angle of depression from the top of the temple one that is top and foot of the temple two is 30 degree and 60 degree now we have converted this statement into figure now bd is the width of the river the same way cd is the height of the temple two which we need to find out now there are two right angle triangles i'll consider right angle triangle a b d right angle triangle a b d in right angle triangle a b d i need to find out the unknown value b d for that the ratio which involves a b and b d that is tan theta that is opposite by adjacent tan theta equals opposite by adjacent so angle is 60 degree so tan 60 equals opposite angle 60 degree is a b and the adjacent is b d now a b is 50 meters already given in the question b d as it is now tan 60 value is root 3 equals 50 divided by b d now b d equals bring down root 3 to rhs you get b d equals 50 by root 3 since in the denominator we have a irrational number we need to convert into rational we need to rationalize now multiply and divide by root 3 50 into root 3 is 50 root 3 divided by root 3 into root 3 is 3 so for bd equals 50 root 3 by 3 meters now we need to find out the length cd which is nothing but ab minus ae ab minus ae equals b which is equal to c d now height of the tower cd which is equal to ab minus ae cd which is equal to AB minus AE. I know the value of AB that is 50. Now I need to find out AE. I will consider right angle triangle AEB. Therefore, again the tan ratio tan theta equals opposite by adjacent. So theta is 30 degree tan 30 degree equals the opposite side in triangle now tan 30 degree equals ae by ec ae as it is we need to find out now ec can be written as bd that is width of the river now ae equals tan 30 into bd The value of tan 30 degree is 1 by 
root 3 already we have found out the length of bead that is 50 root 3 divided by 3 now root 3 and root 3 will cancel out now we get a as 50 by 3 meters a equals 50 by 3 meters also now CD which is the height of the other temple equals AB minus AE. So AB is 50, AE is 50 by 3. Now taking LCM 50 into 3 will give you 150 minus 50 divided by 3. 50, 150 minus 50 will give 100 divided by 3 meters. Therefore, the height of the other temple is 100 by 3 meters. Also, we have found out width of the river is 50 root 3 by 3 meters. If you want, you can convert into decimal, but I'll keep it in the fraction form. 50 root 3 by 3 meters. That is the width of the river.